Hey CTX Brides, I'm Britt Frank, your host of CTX Engaged, your podcast for everything Central Texas weddings. Today I'm here with Carlo Banda of Wall of Sound Production. How's it going? I'm doing well, thank you. How are you? I'm doing great. Uh, how is wedding season treating you? Uh, well, uh, it's been really good. Uh, right now we're just getting into the, the, I guess we call the the first part of the fall wedding season. Yes. Uh, September's over. Uh, mm-hmm. We just, you know, kicking off October and we've got events lined up every Saturday between now and New Year's, you know, it's so, a so it's time. great. Yeah, it's great. You know, and, it, and a lot of people, I don't know if you're aware, it's not just me. I have a team of DJs that work with me as well. Great. So it's, you know, so we were able to cover a lot of area and uh, it's it's been successful and being part of Syntex Engagements is a big part of that. Great. I love to hear that. Um, so how many, how many weddings are you doing per weekend since you do have a team? Uh, we do at least two like weddings every Saturday. Okay. Uh, there are some events Saturdays where we have three or four. Um, wow. You know, it just all depends on how the, the, the bookings come in. Um, my guys aren't just exclusively to me, you know, they, they also take on mm-hmm. other events. So it's also up to their availability as well. Uh, but definitely we are able to do quite a bit. And, uh, you know, I've had brides tell me when they inquire, like, Hey, we see you guys everywhere, you know, cause we are in the magazine right. you know, and a lot of the weddings that are featured, uh, have us as, you know, DJs, you know, so right. they see our name everywhere. So it's, uh, that's something that helps out quite a bit is the, the presentation. Okay. So uh, are you doing other events besides weddings as well? Oh, uh, we specialize in weddings and private events. Okay. Um, you know, we will take on like grand openings and stuff like that, yeah. but we are, our main focus is private events and weddings. Uh, we we've, we've done some proms. Uh, we've had some success with, with proms, uh, and we're, we'll do some more next year, but definitely weddings is what our main focus is. So you're clearly established. You have a team. You're booked every weekend. How long have you been doing weddings? Uh, my first wedding was in uh, it was in 2012. Um, wow! I was a Craigslist DJ, and you know All those right. of you watching, if you're on Craigslist, <laughs> whatever, no shame, there's no shame in that. I absolutely did it. Um, I think my first wedding I charged 350, and to this day they still owe me 50 dollars. <laughs> Yeah, so it's just you know you, you write that off, uh, but it was a, it was definitely quite an experience. Um, yeah. I didn't start out going into it thinking I was going to be a wedding DJ, uh, but it just kind of took on this natural progression, and you know here it is, almost ten years later, um, still doing it. Yeah. So were you starting at like clubs and things like that, or what so were you doing? So what first? got me into it? Uh, good question. Is um, I uh, I used to live in the Bell County area. And there was this little sports bar around the corner from where I lived that I would go watch football games and hang out on, you know, the weekdays sometimes. And so uh, I thought, you know what, like, I'm tired of hearing crappy music when I go out. And a lot of things that, well, one thing people don't really know about me is I am a big music person. Okay. You know, I, it's, uh, I grew up in a household where music was being played all the time. Okay. Um, and so with my unique birth order, uh, I have uh, an exposure to many different types of music okay. uh, throughout the years. Uh, and so as an adult, I've grown into my own musical taste. So I thought, okay, let me, you know, see if I could do this. So I went out and bought some speakers and I talked to the owners like, hey, uh, can I do this? You know, let me come in here. I won't even charge you. You know, let me right. just do this. Yeah. And so uh, I did it, and they ended up booking me like twice a week uh, from from that initial time. And I wanted to get into weddings, but you can't just say, hey, I'm a wedding Suddenly DJ. Suddenly I'm a wedding DJ. Right, yeah. you can't do that. You can't do that. So I did start on Craigslist, um, and then it went from there. I, I was fortunate enough to um, run into uh, uh, someone who was in the wedding industry at the end of an event, got my information, and then that following Monday immediately booked me like three or four clients. Awesome. And so it just kind of just kind of went from there. Yeah, yeah, sounds like a lot of networking. Exactly, it is. <laughs> but, you know, but professionalism is key. You know, even though, like, I was just starting out, you know, the presentation is, is just a huge part of it. You know? Absolutely. So you definitely want to present yourself as a professional um, and things take off from there. But uh, to answer the question, no, I was not a club DJ. I did do <laughs> karaoke and stuff like that throughout okay. the years. But, yeah. Very cool. All right, so in three words, how would you describe like your DJing style? I know there's there's hundreds of DJs out there, and every single right. one of them are different. Absolutely. So, yeah. what makes you Wall of Sound Productions? Well, first off, professionalism. You know, if you're going to be in the wedding and private event industry, you know, professionalism is is number one key. Um, then you just got to be fun, you know, and you have to be flexible. Um, you know, you got to be able to read a crowd and adjust what you're doing in order to fit what's going on and get people engaged. Absolutely. Uh, So, you know, like, and I I stress this many times when I meet with clients that I am not a club DJ. Uh, I am a wedding DJ. There's two different animals. Uh, You know, you go to a club and it's just, it's, 
nonstop party, go, 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 go. But weddings, there's different variables in it. You know, you got your cocktail hour, you got your dinner, um, you know, you got these different progressions throughout the night that how the event flows that Absolutely. music needs to reflect that um yes. and so you know that's just flexibility that's just that's also key to being successful wedding dj definitely and i used to be a wedding planner so i know that wedding planners and djs work super oh, absolutely. close together it is definitely on the dj to kind of have the flow of things mm -hmm. seem natural yep. um how do you combat like a crowd at a wedding that does not want to get on the dance floor, yeah. it's just really shy and hesitant. So in the beginning, years ago, you know, like it, I would take it personal if like people weren't as engaging and whatnot. Uh, but I come to realize, like you know, you have these groups of people who are just by nature conservative. Like right. they don't really let loose. They don't go out to parties and clubs yeah. and stuff like that. So you know, you just have to be able to understand, like, hey, not everyone's going to be. A party crowd um, right. but you know as long as you provide the music that fits the vibe that's going on out there you know it's gonna be fine uh, you know there's a very fine line between a DJ that is on the microphone trying to force a party <laughs> yeah and as a DJ that's just kind trying to reflect what's going on out right. there so you know have I before you know kind of gotten everyone out on the dance floor and started like a soul train just to right. kind of get things going yeah. yes but that's only at times where I feel like I can do that, that right they're going to be responsive to it uh, because like I mean I hear you know horror stories from all the times from yeah we're at this wedding this DJ was on the microphone he's yeah. trying to be cute trying to be be funny and that's just not our uh, myself or my guys that's not how we present ourselves you know like right we, we we tell you what you need to know for the night and you know if we feeling something then we'll interject it but we're not gonna force anything right okay and that kind of brings me to my next question mm -hmm. um like i mentioned having worked in the wedding industry prior to this and with brides i know that uh, a big thing is their playlist the must play songs the do not play right. songs yeah like how specific is that process for you and do you feel like you kind of have the creative freedom to kind of read the crowd and pick a few songs yourself that kind of thing okay so uh, i mean that's a really good question because I, I get brought all the time like what do we do about music yeah okay so first off you know as a wedding dj what we have to know off is you know the formal first dance song what are you going to dance to first dance father daughter mother son all those formal things you know like that is a must yes. you know, get us that um, with the amount of weddings that we do per year and even when we do this every weekend you know there are certain songs that people just connect with every weekend yeah um, you know and so we have an idea of what works and what doesn't work but we absolutely do encourage our clients to create a playlist you know um, I, I'm not a representative of Spotify, but I absolutely love Spotify. Yeah. And I encourage my clients, you know, if you don't have Spotify, get Spotify because it's so easy to create a playlist absolutely. and just share the link with me. Yeah. Um, and most of the times, like, the playlists are songs that we already have and that mm -hmm. we use all the time. Uh, but there's other times that there's certain songs on there that, you know, like, we're not too familiar with, but they know that they want it. So that gives us the time to familiarize with it and see where in the evening we can put that song in. Right. Um, what I think a lot of people um, don't think about or realize is, you know, they think of weddings as this nice romantic love experience, which it is, but the music shouldn't reflect that necessary. You know, right. you don't want a super slow love song. Like if that's right. your first dance song, great. Great, yeah. You know, <laughs> but you don't want to have that throughout the night. Um, you know, I, I've been to some events where DJs are playing slow love songs during dinner. You know, like mm -hmm. this, it's kind of boring. Yeah. You know, so we want to keep everything mid tempo, keep upbeat. You know, yeah. we want to see you bouncing in your chair. Yeah. Um, that way, when we open up the dance floor, like you're primed. It's ready to go. You're ready to go. <laughs> you're warmed up. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. So um, definitely do not play lists. You know, if there's something that you don't want us to play, obviously, as professionals, we don't play anything uh, explicit or overly suggestive. Uh, right. You know, because there's many different age groups there. Mm -hmm. And it is a, you know, it's a formal event. Yes. So, uh, but yeah, we do encourage playlists and, you know, let us know what vibe that you want. But also, we also let them, like, hey, like, we read the crowd the night of. Right. You know, so. And that brings me to my next question. How do you deal with, like, people who are constantly, like, I guess wedding guests, who mm -hmm. are, like, constantly coming up to you and requesting songs? Yeah, so uh, we, we do take requests. Um, Great. You know, and clients will ask me, hey, what if, you know, our guests request something? Mm -hmm. um, absolutely. As long as we feel like it's going to fit in with what we're doing, then absolutely we will play it. We won't necessarily play it next 
but you know we'll get it in there. Uh, right. It's, you know I've had some some people come. Hey, can you play this song? It was mine. My wife's first dance song at our oh, wedding. Yeah. Hey man, that's great. But this isn't your wedding. <laughs> yeah. You know, like it's not. You know, it's not your wedding. Yeah. Um. So, but you know, you, you just you're, you're nice about it. Like, hey, if I can find it. I'll put it in. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, with the younger crowds, like, hey, if I can find a clean version of <laughs> right. it, then, I I'll, then I'll put it difficult. in. But that's just a way of saying, hey, like, no, I'm not going to play your song. Yeah. You know, but, you know, but they, you know, but they, <laughs> they feel not good. Be rude you know, about it. Yes. right. You yeah, know, and that's just, that's how you do feelings. it. But absolutely. Like, like, there's certain songs that people request that I just I haven't thought about. Right. And like, oh, yeah, that's a perfect song. Yeah. Coming up next. Great. You know? So it all just depends <laughs> on what's going on. But yeah, requests are, are welcomed. But, you know, definitely we, it's our discretion. Yeah. Makes sense. Um, so, obviously, you provide music. Mm-hmm. Uh, what other services do you provide to your brides? So, uh, we are full service. So, not only just the music and the sound packages for like ceremony and whatnot. Uh, we have a full lighting package, awesome. uh, which is which would be up lighting. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, for those of you not familiar, up lighting is is lighting that we place around a room, a venue that shoots color up a wall. Um, that can be completely customizable to your event, your colors or whatnot. Um, and we do a custom monogram projection, which would be the name on the Very dance floor cool. or on the wall. Uh, we ideally like to put it on a wall as opposed to a dance floor. Uh, but, uh, you know, there's different ways that we could that we could do that. But that's one of the services that we provide. Yeah, I feel like the lighting is really, like, essential to the atmosphere. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, lighting, for me, is, is, is very key. You mm-hmm. know, even, like, when you're at home, you're watching a movie. Yeah. You know, you want to have a lamp on in the corner mm-hmm. or this. You don't mm-hmm. want something right above you. Right. Um, you know, and that's part also of the natural progression of the evening is the dinner lighting is one way. And then once dinner's over, you open up the dance floor, you want to dim a little bit more. So it's nice to have the auxiliary lighting that the up lighting provides. Yeah, yeah. that makes but, sense. Nice ambiance. So... What do you love the most about DJing weddings? It's a, uh, it's for honestly for me it's very rewarding. Um, for one, I'm doing something that I absolutely love to do, which is just listen to music. Um, you know, obviously what I listen to at home, privately in my car, in my own free time, isn't what I play at weddings. Uh, that's not to say that I hate wedding songs because I absolutely don't. Like I do like them. Yeah. Uh, if I'm driving in the car, it comes on the radio, I'm changing the station. You know. <laughs> that's but uh, you know, I just I enjoy you know creating moments and memories for people through music because I, as I mentioned earlier, music is just a big part of who I am. Like I wish I could play an instrument. I wish I could do more with music. Right. But all I can do is just appreciate it. I mean, your turntables are your instrument. Your computer yeah, yeah. is your instrument. And uh, so, you know, I'm able to, to use that music and, and help people, you know, bond in that moment, establish these relationships, these friendships. And, uh, you know, years down the road, they're going to think about their wedding and they'll have those highlights. Um, you know, and I, and I tell people, my, my brides and grooms, like, hey, you know, your parents, grandparents, and you guys are going to remember the actual ceremony. Uh, your guests afterwards, years on the road, are going to remember the party. You know, right. so make sure that you find a DJ that you're comfortable and confident in that's going to provide that experience for you and your guests. Absolutely. You know, because like it's a, uh, I don't, I would like to think more people realize how important the right DJ is. Yeah. Uh, but you know, oftentimes you just hear stories where like the DJ just underperforms. Uh, yeah. You know? And it, for me, that's just that's just heartbreaking. Mm-hmm. You know. But, yeah, it's uh, terrible. You know, and it's just it is what it is sometimes. But uh, definitely that part, just creating the memories for people. I think that's awesome. Um, so, how can brides get in touch with you? Uh, well, I am in Central Texas Engagements. Um, Absolutely. <laughs> you know, I have a website, wosproductions.com. Uh, there's a contact us link on there. Uh, you know, just leave your information and we'll follow up with you. Definitely. Uh, if you're looking into spring uh, next year, like, you know, those dates are booking now. Right. Yeah, they're booking now. Get on it. <laughs> uh, so if that's what you're looking for, get definitely get on it. Uh, we'll be at the bridal shows coming up in January once awesome. this uh, season's over. And, you know, we're looking for a great 2022. Awesome. And you are on socials as well. Yes, I am on, yeah. on Instagram. Uh, my lovely wife, Mackenzie, runs it for me. Uh, <laughs> awesome. Heavenly Weddings. Uh, I'm not a social media kind of guy. Uh, so, But she does run that for me. She takes Great. care of that for me. So follow me on Instagram. Uh, I think it's Wall of Sound yeah. Pro DJ. We'll absolutely yeah. tag you and everything you. as well yeah. and make it easy for everyone yeah. to contact you. Well, thank you so much for being on with us. And I hope you have an awesome rest of this 2021 wedding season. Sure, thank you. Yeah, and I'm sure I'll see you again. (laughs) Yes, we'll see you soon. All right.